Hello, hello! I have returned it. <laughs> Session part two. My camera lost the settings, of course. Oh, uh, let's fix that. Uh, da, da. That or, no, I'm just slouching. It's okay. <laughs> I was just slouching. Anyway, hi! Picking her back up. I'm leaving the light on for now, but it's going to turn off later because... Yeah, my eyes are starting to not love it. Um, so we last left off, we were working on um, Regan and Kent Cap's house. So I have to finish Kent. And I also have to choose a boyfriend for him. <laughs> we need a boyfriend for Kent Cap. So I'm thinking one of the guys, these are all Sims 2 men. Maybe one of these guys. Maybe. Other option is possibly... Somebody out of my gallery. <laughs> Not this one. Yeah, or maybe one of these ones somewhere. One of these guys somewhere in here. Again, I already have somebody for Laszlo. Maybe? I'm not sure which one would work better with who. I mean, I can tailor their personalities a bit. Either Gilbert's going with Kent Cap or Gilbert's going with Laszlo. I might have to flesh out Gilbert and decide from there. <laughs> might have to flesh out Gilbert Jacquette and decide from that. <laughs> um, but we gotta finish Kent first, so I'm gonna go do that. And we got a hen. Regan and Cornwall are going to have a baby. <laughs> they are. They are. A baby. As far as we know, one. As far as I know. So we'll see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Regan is done. Cornwall is done. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Ten. And you need, like, three more traits, too, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. What else we got down here? Anything I can move up? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No, nothing I can move up. Okay. So I'm going to look at... I'm looking at the... His parents for options. I don't think he's serious. I also should look at the wiki too, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just to see if there's anywhere in the wikiness. Um... It's very nice, which I already knew. It's quite lazy, got that. Kind of outgoing, sure. Not very playful, okay. Um, Loves culture, got that. Loves food, got that. Um, but, 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 but. Likes entertainment. I've got geek and movie buff. Travel. Worldly. I've got pretty much everything I want to hit for him. Okay. Off the wiki. Uh, the, the... I mean, admittedly, Contessa's not fully fleshed out. I've only got one, two, three, four. I've only got six traits on her right now. She's already dead, though, so it's not... Not a big deal for her. I'm more concerned about these guys than Contessa. <laughs> uh, serious, serious family oriented. I mean, we could give him family oriented, like his mom. That's one. Maybe art lover. Again, like Zed. I think this is a. Like, the Monty's got a lot of uh, loyal Sims. I think that. I think that this family or these guys should be have a lot of uh, art lovers in them. So I think I'll do art lover 
family oriented and I need one more. Um He's lazy. Is he neat? I don't think he's neat. He's semi neat. Like halfway. He's not neat. He's not a slob. Um uh, ba 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 Come on. Um, no, I think it might be have to be like a randomish for him. So, family oriented and art lover. Art lover, A R T lover, th 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 family, A B C D. The family oriented. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. So he needs one tree. I have green fiend on here. That could move up. I didn't see it before. He does like the environment, right? 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 Yeah. A little over half. I think it's like a six. Um, but, 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 but. get off the double family oriented. Yeah, I'll add Green Fiend as a major trait. D E F G. And then take off the secondary. All right. Okay, I need to put this on the. On to here. I need to do Regan's and his. Okay. So. Worldly. Oh, I gotta fix my. Fix my cord here so I'm not bugging my wrist. There we go. Worldly, foodie, art lover, family. Geek, green, F I, green fiend, movie buff, Chanty, gentle, bookworm, and lazy. Aspiration, currently Renaissance, sim, life state, sim, beauty. Update. Okay, I gotta fill in Regan. <laughs> Neat art lover A M B Ishis Stoic Un A P P E A S A B L E Unappeasable Analytical Materialistic Active A Shy Cat Lover even though she hates pets. <laughs> Fabulously wealthy. And a sim, -a -sim. Alright. So let's have a baby. Uh, edit. People in tree. Yeah. Cap. And then I will also have to spreadsheet here. Um. Uh, Mother, father, uncle. <laughs> Cat. All right. Let's see what the game gives us. We're going to have a random baby <laughs> for Kent and or Cornwall and Regan. They're having a baby. Don't know what gender. Hoping for a female because... I wrote, I, they need to have a girl to carry on the family line. <laughs> so, we'll see. If it's a boy, I'm going to have to change it. I don't know how many kids they're going to have. I'm thinking one total, so maybe I need to make it a girl. I'm just trying to take into account that it is possible that the game will give us multiples. <laughs> we don't want too, too many multiples, but you never know what, what, uh, MC Command Center is going to give us, so... And then we'll have to decide the date that it was born. 
Right. So we have so far a bunch that are born in 2004, one born in 2008. So I'm thinking 2006, 2007. May 2007? Why am I me? <laughs> Alright, baby, MC Command Center. <gasps> Pregnancy, start, Cornwall. Yeah, it's a female. Or sorry, it's a male. Sorry, male, 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 third male, still male, fourth baby, five times a male, six times a male, seven, <laughs> eight, one female. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> so it was one male baby seven times before a female. And we need a female baby. Because if they only have one kid, it has to be a girl to carry on the family line. Because Kent's, Kent's children won't be eligible because he can't be the heir unless, unless Regan's line dies. Um, and then Juliet is out for storyline purposes and so is Hermia. So it's got to be Regan's daughter. For a direct line. Mm. Uh, da, da, da. And we're going to put you in labor. We are in labors. I need to just plunk down a baby thing. And then we have to decide. I have to decide how old it is. I think it's going to be like two years old. Probably an infant-ish. Uh, I need kids. I need kids. I guess it doesn't really matter what bassinet I use because it's only sticking around for a second. Gosh, they have no room in this house, like at all. <laughs> guess there. Mm -hmm. See, do 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 do. Get your female names ready. <laughs> I need something sophisticated that Regan would choose. I need a sophisticated baby girl name. Or I will find one myself. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's a girl! Surprise! <laughs> Haven? Regan Haven? Haven? Morgan? Elisa? Carly Kennedy? Carly Colette? Ooh, Colette Cap! Ooh, Consort? Contessa Colette? Colette is a good name for a cat baby. Get in your uh, opinions ASAP <laughs> before I accept it here. I'm putting it in the tree while I wait. Call at. This is very. Putting him on the tree. Cons, not consort. Uh, the 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 Regan and Cornwall. Ooh. Okay, I'm gathering no objections to Colette then. Boop. Ooh. Okay, we got a Colette. We have a baby. I need to figure out her actual date of birth. And I need to figure out... <sighs> mm 
the oldest female cap is gone real. Oh, I need to put them on the spreadsheet too. They're not on here. Oh, do, 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 do. oh come on. There we go. I need to figure out their ages again since I don't have them. It's really annoying. <laughs> They're in. These guys are in Windenburg. This one's in Tartosa. Um, but, 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 ages, ages, ages. I know they're adults. Adult. 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 Do I have the ages stuck over, tucked away somewhere? I want to say I did. It's not on this one, is it? Mm hmm. No, it's on that one. I thought I had it somewhere. Wrong one. Okay, in rotation six of our Pleasant Hills, they were in their 50s. So that's a little ways down the line, and it was a different age system. I want to say late 30s for them. Yeah, because... Because Gone Real has, like, five kids, so... <laughs> or four kids. She'd definitely be in her 40s. Definitely be in her 40s. So I'm going to go late 30s for Regan. And is Cornwall younger than her? I can't remember. Uh, da, 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 da. Regan's last name. Family Ben. Crappy relationship. Yes. Oops. I know that Albany is significantly younger. Or is significantly older, sorry, than... Then, uh, gone real. Albany's like an uh, is an elder, actually, <laughs> pretty darn close to. She's just shy. He's like a good fifteen years older than gone real, I believe. Do 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 do. Um, sorry, I'm reading the wiki. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going late 30s. Just a little tad over 38 for Regan. Like 38 and a quarter. <laughs> In 2004. No. Or in 2009. Um, I wanted to have her kid around 38, I think. 38. So she'd just be... So she has a kid around 38. Kid's about 2. She's about 40. In 2009. And Re or Cornwall, a couple years older than her. I'm going to say 43 and a half. <laughs> Another reason why they only really have one kid. And Kent, he's the youngest. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm right about that, aren't I? Cordelia was the youngest, the one who died. Kent's just a little bit older than her. Uh, 
Renriel. Renriel's the oldest, so so Kent's a couple years behind her. So he'd be say like thirty-seven and three quarters. <laughs> Or so in two thousand nine, and so okay. And Colette, her actual birth date involves a randomizer. So one randomizing one to four to get the season. Winter, she's a winter baby. First winter baby. Winter and. So it kind of makes sense that she'd be a winter baby for me. Um, and let's see. Two, seven. We had somebody die on the 12th. So if we're doing 14 day rotations as a normal. As a normal play through. So one to 14. I don't have any kids born. I'm going to go above seven. So I'm going to do between 7 and 14. 10. Ten, 10th day. Because we don't have any kids born later. 10th day of winter. Tenth day of winter 2007. Making her about 2 years old. In 2009. Yeah, she'll be two, say like two and a quarter. Now just straight two. Two. She's two. She's two right now. The the ages are gonna squeak out with the the basically I'm approximating ages so I can keep track of with the number of years. Sort of thing. <laughs> with the years. <sighs> Sorry, fixing this. Delete row. Alright. These guys are all pre-maids. Okay. Cool. So she'll be two. Which is an infant, I believe. Yeah. Infant. So she's an infant right now. So we gotta wait till we can age her up. <laughs> We we'll have to wait till the game says we can age her up, which is usually a minute or so. They have to be alive for a hot minute first. How about you feed the kid? Let's feed while we wait for the ability to age her up. <laughs> we'll see the new cap air. Oh, hi! <laughs> you snuck up on me, startled me, <laughs> startled me, and my music turned up. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to convince myself to do laundry. Oh, laundry! Yes, that does need to be done. Oh, she's getting black hair. And toddler infant traits don't matter. Black hair, blue eyes, I think. Nice combo. I'll take a placeholder image anyway of her. Yes, we can. I need a placeholder image of her. And that's this house. Regan and Cornwall. Regan and Cornwall actually might move back, move to the main mansion. Because she is, Regan is the heir. She's the oldest female child still living. So. See, are they blue eyes or are they gray? They're kind of gray. Maybe gray eyes. 
They're like a gray blue. Hey, cutie pie. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't have curly hair. She had this hair, wavy hair, I think. Yeah, wavy hair. Not many, gr not great toddler hairs for a girl. Not great hairs. <laughs> That's okay. It won't matter. She'll get some better ones soon. Placeholder. She's just, it's just a placeholder. She's got quite the nose going for. I think the hair is not doing her any favors. <laughs> All right, placeholder image taken. And I need to put her birthday on the spreadsheet or on the on the thing, on the thing. All right, so Regan um had how am I wording this again? <laughs> uh broke. Yeah, just gave birth. <laughs> so, gave birth to a girl, comma, call at Colette at age. 38-ish. <laughs> Update. And then collect. I gotta put, put her birthday in this. Come here, you. There you go. Edit. Born the 10th day of winter. 2007 at winning hour randomizing between 1 and 2400 <laughs> and then some of it won't be right 6:58 a.m. Oh, 6:58 hours 0658 Oh, six, five, eight. All right. And I don't need to worry about traits. I'll upload her placeholder image. Uh, screenshots. Yeah, I'll have to update some other, the other photos on the cat one here. But she can have her placeholder image. what I'm working on here. <laughs> so I need to replace these guys' images with their young adult image. And I'm probably going to change these bullet points at some point into like a paragraph possibly for the website. And then I usually do I want them all pictured as a young adult. Regan and them I have their young adult pictures already in there. They're just not cropped. Once I crop them, I put on the pictured as a young adult because otherwise it won't be right. <laughs> otherwise, I might get it wrong. <laughs> I'll have to go through the wiki after I'm done these. After I've done this five years and make sure I didn't miss anything. Juliet. Beauty. And Maya. And it didn't upload. I gotta go back. And I gotta also upload the Monty Boys. Mm. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I did get on the centering of those photos. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. So next up will be. Oh, I got. I want to get Kent a boyfriend. <sighs> Any good ideas? <laughs> Who are we? Oh. Are we editing? We're we're still working on the caps. Mm. Um, I just gotta do the photos from this last little bit. And Romeo, I need to update his photo as well. Romeo, oh, Romeo, where far out thou, my Romeo? <laughs> Who had a baby? Regan Cap. Regan Cap had a baby. I, mean, I named her Colette Cap. Makes sense. Cornwall. Contessa and Cornwall. Or sorry, Contessa and Consort. Then it's Regan and Cornwall. And then call it. <laughs> She's the cap heir now. Bloodline wise. Actually, well, Gone Real is the oldest. So maybe not. Technically, Miranda is. But she wouldn't want it. Mm. The name scares you? It should scare you. <laughs> it should scare you. That's the point. Gone Real is technically the oldest female, so technically, actually, she's the heir, which makes Miranda the heir. But I can't see any of them taking it, and I can't really see Gone Real taking it. Albany will be pissed, but... <laughs> I think for reasons Colette's going to be. I think. I think. That could change. That could change. We need a boyfriend for Kent. We need to go get a boyfriend to move in for Kent. We do. We do. So, I'm going to first look at Gilbert Jacquette and decide what I'm doing with Gilbert. See if Gilbert's traits mesh better with Laszlo or with Kent. Whoever meshes best wins Gilbert. <laughs> Who with a makeover is quite good looking, actually. <laughs> uh... Gotta find them though. Here somewhere. Gilbert, where are you? Do I have you on this page? You're here somewhere, or you were. Do -do. I shake pictures of these guys too. Hmm, placeholder. I know I saw him. I swear I saw him. I've lost Gilbert. Ah, she doesn't belong there. Um, she says TS2, but I looked up TS2 Sims with her name and they don't exist. What happened to Gilbert? I didn't get rid Maybe he didn't get imported. I thought I'd seen him. D E F G H I. There he is. There's Gilbert and his mom. She doesn't matter. <laughs> She'll be dead. She doesn't matter. We'll probably just delete her or something. <laughs> we don't actually need her. Uh, Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. If 
find you a nice little house. Ish. Little ish house. It's a one bedroom. That won't do. Sleeps for. That one won't work. That one won't work. I don't want a big house because he's not. I guess it doesn't matter because they're not staying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to flesh him out a bit. Do it right. Cause God knows what his traits are right now. They're probably not wiki accurate. Lazy kind of going. Hmm. I gotta look at his wiki page. I don't know him quite as well, so. Alright. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I don't care who has a crush on. He's a romance sim. That's fine. He's nice. That's good. I've got kind. He's playful. So a bit of a goofball. I've got lazy. He's a lazy and a slob. And he's outgoing. Okay. Lazy slime slob. So I need like a goofball type trait. That's good for Laszlo. Bit of a goofball. Let's see what else we got here for him. Um, he loves food. He likes the environment. He likes to travel. So worldly, foody, something environmental. Yeah, worldly. He's into the arts. So some sort of creative chat. So some sort, yeah, some sort of creative one. He's an adult. I need ten. <laughs> I've got four. Hi. Back to the game here. Uh, da, da. So I'm gonna go with this over here so I can visualize properly. I'm going with foodie. A lot of foodies. <laughs> Always a lot of foodies. A lot of people like food. E E F F O O D I E. Foodie. Going with foodie. Going with like worldly. That's a what popular trait too. I need something environment and something. Something environment. Something creative. That's two, four, six. I've got room for four more traits. Again, I'm only concerned about main cast traits. God, he could go with either of the guys, really. Let me see your Kent. Oh, I didn't put Kent's traits on the app. Ha, <laughs> crap. <laughs> I gotta do that. Uh... Laszlo, curious. What's your traits, my dear? I usually would put him with Laszlo. But Laszlo's actually a fair bit younger than he is, too. I don't have all of Laszlo's traits on. Oh, we haven't done them yet. <laughs> we haven't done Strange Town yet for the first five years. Goofball, Restless Horticulture, Splashful, outgoing. 
Ambitious. I might put him with Kent this time. Just for the heck of it. Just because I can find somebody else for Lazlo, that's not an issue. <laughs> Oh, a face. Don't annoy me, face. Kind. Okay, so something environment. Something artsy. I need actions. Actions, actions, there we go. <gasps> Green fiend. Child of nature. Or loves outdoors. He loves outdoors. And maybe he likes the outdoors. He's lazy though. Hmm. He just likes to sit outdoors. <laughs> sit outdoors and chill. Ugh. Oh, I take my meds. That's what I forgot to do. <laughs> my face hurts, and I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh yeah, meds were due almost an hour ago. I'm always on top of things. I really am. Oh yeah, is he a slob? Yes, he's a slob. I think Kent's neat. A little bit opposite track. Somebody's got to clean up after the other one, I guess. <laughs> so we have slob. Slob. He's a lazy slob, but that's okay. A lazy slob. Loves the outdoors. So slob loves the outdoors. Two, four, six. Slob loves the outdoors. Kind of likes watching sports, but slob loves the outdoors. But he's just the kindest guy. Now he's outgoing. I've already got that. Slob loves the outdoors. He's already a goofball. Slobs of the outdoors. Oh yeah, art. Something with the arts. Slob loves the outdoors and artistic. Slobs, loves the outdoors, artistic, and something else. <laughs> Slob, loves the outdoors, artistic. Or perfect pitch. I don't have a lot of perfect pitch. Slob, loves the outdoors. Or music lover. No, I think I'll stick with artistic. Get the artsy vibes off of him. Um, and Slob loves the outdoors. Artistic. Slob loves the outdoors. Artistic. Slob loves the outdoors. Artistic. And. 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 He's already a goofball. Oh, 
Lastly, the door is artistic and... And slab. Let's see, the door is artistic and... And... Maybe something random. <laughs> Slob blows the doors artistic. Family oriented? He's he's a romance sim, but he can still be family oriented. Or delightful. <laughs> I think delightful. Slob loves the outdoors. Artistic, delightful. So artistic. Delightful. He's just a delightful man. Too far. Delight. Big sunny face. There we go. Delightful. Artistic Delightful loves the outdoors. Okay, oh, oh. Artistic loves the outdoors. Damn it was the last one. I said it like 18 times so I wouldn't forget. Slob, artistic, delightful. Oh my god, what was the last one? Damn it. <laughs> what was I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Crap! What was the last one I had chosen? Oh my god. I legitimately... My brain just said, Oh, there's a word! You don't remember it anymore. God, I hate when that happens. <sighs> Da -da. Hopefully I'll remember when I see it. <laughs> Cause I'm a So far, not remembering. <laughs> Crap. Family oriented? Was that? No. No, that wasn't it. It was a thought. I legitimately have no idea what my last trait was that it was supposed to be. <sighs> that delightful. Oh 
Come on, brain. <laughs> Lazy outgoing, delightful, loves outdoors, worldly, foodie, goofball, artistic, kind, and something. Mm -hmm. Hold me close, hold me tight. Fashion, environment, food. Worldly. I legitimately had zero clue what that last trait was supposed to be. Oh, now I gotta pick another one. Mm. Oh. Chairman Gentle. How to do, 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 do. I just don't know what I want now. you and I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guess he could have something. He has a romance sim. So I could do. He's very romantic with his loved one. Yes. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to go passionate. He's passionate with his lovers. Mm. Give him a little spice. <laughs> LMNO passion. I saw it. There it is. Where is it? There we go. All right. We'll go with that. All right. Now I have to decide. Is he Laszlo's boy or is he Kent's? Mm. Kent or Laszlo? It's a lot of black hair if I put him with... Laszlo, possibly blonde with Ken, because they're science babying, <laughs> of course. Well, Laszlo for sure would do a science baby. Laszlo's probably going to have an alien baby, though. Those of you who know what timeline that is, <laughs> they know what else happens. Sorry, Vidkin. <laughs> I put that on shuffle. No, I did not. I'm like, it's playing a lot of Everglow in a row. I didn't shuffle it. <laughs> not that I didn't mind Everglow by any stretch, but I love them. There we go. All right. Um, he's like 50 50. He could go really well with either of them, I think. Tell me, tell me, tell me now. I'm going to put Kent's traits where they belong. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I gotta put ten Kent's traits on the family tree. Oh no, they're there. They weren't showing before. Why weren't they showing before? Who was it that wasn't showing properly? Weird. Okay, well they are there. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I think he can go he would go pretty well, Kent. I think Gilbert and Kent would make a pretty good match. They're both worldly foodies. Gentle people, kind people, lazy. <laughs> I mean he works with um Laszlo in that Laszlo is like a goofball. But I think Laszlo's more of a fun person, maybe, than, than Gilbert. Goopball, restless, hard, cautious, bashful, going, ambitious. God, he's got stuff in common with both of them. Hmm. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm eeny, meeny, miny, moing. I'm gonna say Kent. I'm gonna go with Kent. Edit. People in tree. Add someone new. <laughs> Gilbert. J-A-C-Q-U-E. Jaquette. To never see. To do 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 do. Bring all the money. <laughs> Not that I need her mom, his mom. Kill off his mom or leave her in. Or just delete her. I don't need her. Because at this point, Jacket would be playable, stays playable, if him and Kent were to divorce. Then, if him and Kent were to divorce, then he would be still dead by the time the save file starts, regardless of what he does. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna put his stuff on. The family tree, worldly, no, worldly, not worldly knowledge. <laughs> Every time, goofball, loves outdoors, passionate, not compassionate, passionate, passionate, <laughs> kind, outgoing, R-T-I-S-T-I-R-T-I-S-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-I-R-T-
But I can't see him being a serial romantic. Like, he's too nice. The soulmate would be the one I would go with as a romance sim. There's always a lot of soulmates. <laughs> I will need this picture as well. I will need your picture as well. Yeah, I think I'll fit in well here. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sorry. Miss Denise, Miss, Mrs. Denise, bye. We don't need her. I don't want to clog up with a ghost I don't need. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I need to give him eyelashes. The amount that people improve with just some eyelashes is crazy. Short stubby. No, I don't want. I don't think I want these curly, curled eyelashes. Those ones are okay. Maybe those. So droopy there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking these ones look pretty good on them. I don't really. Not really feeling any of the others. Yeah, these ones. They brighten him up. I need him to be a young adult for his picture. Pop. He could probably stand better hair, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> and a better outfit, but it won't matter. He's dressed up enough for ghosts. <laughs> to be a ghost later. It will be very dead by the time the uh, save file starts. Sorry, Gilbert. Backup picture. There we go. Upload that to the family tree. I don't think they're married yet. Do they have a kid yet is the question. Get that centered. Yes, I did. Okay, that's your tree. So he'd have to be a significant partner anyway to put on Kent's um, thing as a partner. But I don't know that they're married yet. Or anything like that. Hmm. Let's see. Kent is 37 and a half. If they met, but they met between 2004 and 2009. I think there's plenty of time to marry them. CQ, you jacket, Gilbert. I gotta make him an adult again anyway. Um, adult. Back to adult with you, my dear. Boop. There we go. I'm gonna say they got married. And the next rotation they have a baby. Or like the next set of advancement. Hey, Jesse! How it goes? <laughs> so, Gilbert, he's going to be 40 in 2009. 
And Kent is slightly younger than him at 37 and three quarters. <laughs> Today, Fubai, you feel like you just woke up? Oh, goodness. That is a fast day. <laughs> Eyeballs opened and then off we go. From the shadow down. The down. All right. Yeah, so I was thinking through, Josie, I was thinking through the cat family and how it's um, a female heir, which makes it gone real, which I didn't think that through, which makes it Miranda. Technically, Miranda is the heir, unless I can come up with a reason for her not to be. Other than the fact she really doesn't seem like the type. I can't even see Gone Real as the type to be the heir. Regan's the most sensical one. Most like her dad. I think I'll, I'm gonna have to do. I'll have to do Gone Reels family first before I decide that. I think. So yeah, does Gilbert take Kent's last name? I would gather yes. Gilbert Cat. Because he's marrying in. Unless he's going to become Kent Jockett. <laughs> I think. Yeah, he's technically he's marrying in, so I'm going to go with. He changes his name to Cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and on Kent's married Gilbert CQU Jaquette at age. So married in 2008, he'd be 39. No. 36. Almost 37. 36. Gilbert would have been married Kent Cap at age, which makes you 39. And they will have, they will probably have a baby. Either they will either adopt or have a science baby in the next set of years, I think. I think, I think. Uh, partners, married, save, close. All right, I think that finishes Regan and Kent's house. Yes. Uh, Pitchard is young. I don't, I can crop this one. Pitchard as a young adult. Crop image. I already cropped it. Never mind. <laughs> Update. There we go. Okay. We can move on to Gone Real, Albany, Miranda, Hal, Desdemona, and Ariel. They're not having any more kids. <laughs> they are not having any more kids. The four is enough out of them. Good. Good. Just checking. Good. Ten, ten, ten. And the baby. And they have a toddler or an infant. All right. That one done. 
Again, this will get easier as I go along, too. Like, this is the first time doing this process <laughs> for me. So hopefully it'll speed up as I get along through the years. Especially because I'll have a base to, like, get things off of. Um, like, bringing traits down through parents and grandparents and all that. And plus a few randoms, so that's easier. Alright, so. To Veronaville South we go. To the scat house. So technically, Gonreal is the... Hmm. Hmm. I guess Regan could add a boy. <laughs> technically, that makes Miranda... Hmm. Mm -hmm. But they also Garden Real is not as into the I think I read that they're not as into the family feud. Which could mean she took a step back from the whole thing. Um, actually, it's Cornwall doesn't have a very big part in the feud, even though he's not directly part of it. Albany is not really part of the feud. Okay. <laughs> Just doing my reading, making sure I know. Making sure I get this right. Okay, so she has married Albany. Yes. She's overlooked. Um, she is an overlooked member, a bit. <laughs> Albany and Gunreal is not in love. It's more of an arranged marriage. And Albany is supposed to be quite a bit older than she is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Decide. I think Regan's the better choice for air over Gone Real. Personally, <laughs> she just has the personality for it. But I mean, I guess Gone Real's not that far off. I gotta flash her out. All right. I gotta flesh her out. I gotta think about it. Don't have to worry too much until Cornwall is dying, but... <laughs> but it is something to think about. Family Sam. I mean, she is a family Sam. No, she's supposed to be a fortune Sam. I don't know why family sims on here. I got fortune sim. Oh, maybe I read it wrong. No, fa she had family and fortune. Go away. <laughs> I can see gone real being. Being an heir, I cannot see Miranda as the heir to the cap. Everything. I just cannot picture her as the heir. I just can't. She does not scream heir to the cap line whatsoever to me. Hmm. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. She needs to come up to ten. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Because the youngest daughter is Juliet's parents. As Juliet's mom. And she's the dead one. <laughs> Yeah, so despite the father's memories and her return in Roaring Heights, placing her as the oldest consort of a consort and contestant's children, the family in Veronaville names her as their second child. Interesting. Here she's listed as first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, game. Sims 2 has a few little uh, timeline discrepancies <laughs> throughout. Mm. I'm going to close the windows. I'm getting, getting a bit of a chill, cool draft coming in now. But inside of the moon. It's up light. Up night. All right, more traits. More traits. More traits. Personality. She's neat, got that. She's sort of on the shyer side, but not full on shy. She's not really lazy or active. She's more on the serious side, but not fully serious. And ne neither nice nor grouchy. That's that's not helpful, girl. She likes money. And that's it. <laughs> She likes money mainly. She doesn't want, she kind of likes travel, the environment, food. All right, we'll look at daddy's, mom and dad's traits. See if I can grab, glean something off of there. Uh, well, art lover's gonna be one. We only need three. Three, four. Right, one, two, four, six, seven, yeah, three. Art lover is going to be one. I can also see her as unappeasable, which I also gave to Regan, kind of a family trait. Unappeasable. Art lover, unappeasable. I mean, she could get worldly. She does like travel or another travel-related trait. Art lover, unappeasable. Mm-hmm. A lot of worldly sims. <laughs> I think it's because it's one of the only traits that kind of embody the I like to travel mindsets. I think, I think, I think, I thunk. I mean, normally I can't see Marina, but her traits might change my mind. All right, it's worldly. <laughs> Art lover. P Q S T uh, T U on a Worldly. And take off the extra trait. I 
I mean, I could use the she's in the Sims 2 wiki, but she's kind of overlooked because she's not blonde like her sisters were. And I could almost use that as she's overlooked and that she's passed over for heir to the main name sort of deal. Uh, where'd the extra trait go? There it is. Alright, well, ten. Okay, I gotta plug hers into the... into this. Anna, L-I-T-I-C, analytical snob, worldly, uh, on a P-P-E-A-S, A-B-L-E, appeasable, and B-I-T, ambitious, art lover, neat, motivat, I am motivating, materi, holistic, and perfect. Shinist. Uh, fabulously wealthy. Sim. I got... Alright. Okay. Okay with that. Either way, I need Regan and Cornwall to have a girl. So, so even if it's Miranda doesn't want it, it might be Desdemona who ends up in the cat main cat house. But we'll see where they all land. I mean, you never know what's gonna bring down the line, eh? All right, Albany two, two, four, six, seven for him. What can I can I move anything up? Not really, no. Okay. Consult the wiki for Albany. Maybe it's because Albany's not taking part in things. <laughs> He's not taking part in uh, the feud. Don't worry, the food the feud's just gonna get worse anyway, so just hang on to your hats. <laughs> Pick a so he's very neat. Got that. He's very outgoing. So, I need to put, I think, like, straight outgoing on him. He's definitely outgoing. Uh, he is serious, which I have. He's grouchy. I got hot-headed. So maybe consider another grouchy trait of some kind, because he's very grouchy. He really likes money. Like, a lot. So ambitious might be in it. He really likes sports. I've got sporty already. Yeah, I think we need ambition. And I think we need another grouchy trait. Or some kind of ambition and another grouchy trait. So, I want to take a look at the traits before I add anything. Impulsive. Salty? Maybe salty. He gets angry when he gets instead of embarrassed. Or short term. Uh, he's already hot headed. Just an alter alternative version of hot headed. I think salty is closer to what I want. Uh, 
I need like a greedy trait. <laughs> Ambitious. I think the only really ambition trait I have is ambitious. <laughs> yeah, dude's almost hostile even. He's just full of anger all the time. He's always unfriendly. That's more of a Tybalt trait, I think. Now that I see that one. Uh... Competitive could work as ambition. Especially if they like entertainment. He does not. He is a family sim. Yeah, I've got family oriented. I'm going with ambitious and salty. <laughs> ambitious. L ambitious. S -s 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 salty. Salty. Salty boy. There we go. And take out that extra ambitious. Okay, now I gotta put that in the tree. Uh, Hot-headed, snubby, salty, outgoing, sporty, amb ambitious, family-oriented, serious. Materialistic and neat. Currently, his ambition is world leader. And he's a sim. Okay. Yeah, like I kind of expect, like I know that we played um, in our Pleasant Hills version 5 rotational we played these caps of course i am pretty sure the traits are kind of going to change here a bit from what we had um in the rotational just for another number of factors like for the rotational i kind of just winged it <laughs> wung it winged it <laughs> wung it <laughs> It's winged. <laughs> you know, for uh, traits and stuff, just a quick and dirty. Now I'm kind of thinking things through a little more, of course. Okay, there are traits. Miranda. So age-wise, for these guys, um, of course, I don't have their ages on here, but I will work off the others. I'll be... I got add them to spreadsheet. <laughs> Miranda, D-S-D, Hal, D-S-D, M-O-N-A, Desdemona, and Ariel. They weren't on my spreadsheet before. They are now. Uh, mother, f -f father d -d daughter son, daughter, and daughter. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, Regan and Cornwall are only having the one child. That's it. Cornwall hates kids. <laughs> hates them. So. Come on. Um, 
group called Bandit was playing for me. I'm so mad they disbanded. <laughs> uh, Miranda will be in college with the others, I think. Yes, college. The other guys are how old? How old? Where are they? University. Romeo's 20. Lilith and Angela are 19 and a half. Dirk is 20. Um, Dustin's 20 and a half. He didn't get into college. I might put her like 19. In 2009, make Miranda 19. Uh, da, 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 Miranda. So she'll be like 19 and a young adult. Um, Hal and Desmona will be teens. Nineteen, eighteen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. Should be fourteen. They'd be they're towards the older side of uh or the younger side of teens. They were in the thirteen or something. Thirteen? Probably a good age to have them at. Got a twelve and a half. I've got a twelve. An eleven year old, I think, is in here somewhere. Yeah, two eleven year olds. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. They're thirteen. That's a pretty big age gap, actually. Their ages get a little fudged here. <laughs> um, mind you, I could spread them out. Make them 13. And then Ariel's, again, younger. So it's like almost six years between them. Eight years oldish in two thousand nine. Uh, we got five year olds, five year olds. One eight year old, eight and a half year old. Except they'll be older because we haven't done them yet. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be about eight. By the time the rotation, so should be a child. And then Gonreal is supposed to be older than Regan. So she's going to be... In 2009, she'll be 43. What's 43 minus 19? Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, yeah, she was 24 when she had uh, Miranda then. Cool. All right. And then Albany. I forgot. Is he's supposed to be way older? I think he's supposed to be way older than Gone Real. I thought. Okay. Looking 10 days from being an elder for him, and she is, yeah, she is, she is a fair bit younger. She's supposed to be a fair bit younger than him, so he's closer to being an elder at this point. She's like 43, he's like 62. <laughs> Yeah, he's like 60-something. Late 50s, early 60s for sure. 
Um, uh, adults are adults until 65. Let's go 61 and a half. <laughs> As an adult. Yes. Yes. I think that works. Age-wise for me. <laughs> Thinking. All right. Well, I got the ages sorted. Okay, so I need to age up Miranda. I need to age up all the kids. <laughs> all the kids got to age up. Same command, set age, uh, young adult, more choices, oh no, MC command center, same command, set age, teen, same command, set age, teen, In command, set age, child. Hopefully it works. Get older. Old. Placeholder. I guess. <laughs> And Miranda, I can't remember what she was supposed to have. Do, 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 do. Miranda is a again yeah, yeah, a romance sim, right? But not necessarily going to get a romance one because I'm sick of using. Soulmate. <laughs> I don't want to use soulmate. I don't want to use getting around for serial romantic for her. Or villainous Valentine or Homewrecker. Why is it um for romance? We have one that's like a positive, good kind of romance, and four toxic ones. <laughs> She's always struck me more knowledge than anything, too. So, for now, knowledge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is she like? Hold on. What is her interests? High interest in travel, fashion, environment, animals. Low in entertainment, okay. Hmm. <laughs> But that she's not a high school dropout game. Why do you keep doing this crap? <laughs> Why do you keep pulling this BS? I'll fix her traits. Possibly. So yeah, fix her traits to be something that follows her family. Desi got fun here. Let's go around. <laughs> Has he got fun hair? And Ariel's got Desi's hair. Cute. <laughs> Friend of the animals? True. There is that. There is that one. 
Oof. It'll all come together, right? <laughs> I kind of thought of Desdemona as being friends of the animals, too. I've always seen Miranda much more as... A, like, more of a... Almost more of a... Knowledge sim, but... She would have graduated with, like, honors, for sure. Okay, Miranda, 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 Miranda! <laughs> so, some personality down from family. Um, it's not totally neat. She's very nice. I've got kind already. She is serious, which I have. Middle of the pack on the outgoing. She's kind of on the lazy side. Lazy seems to be a family trait of the caps. Um, she's also going to love art, of course, just like her mom. Right? Yes. So, so we need lazy. I want art lover. Bit on the lazy side. L, L, L. -L. That might give us some enough. What do I need? Teens. Oh, she's a young owl. I need eight for her. Okay. Eight. Eight treats. La 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 lazy la la lazy lazy girl two four six two more and we can take like her grandfather into account but I want to do it by her traits first in Sims two. Okay, so we've got nice, we've got serious, we've got lazy. She's kind of middle of the pack on outgoing. Um, and same with sloppy neat. Oh, da, da, da. She could be ambitious. I can see that. She does, yeah, she does like animals. Oh, we can move up animal enthusiast. Okay, I didn't see that before. So yeah, the animal one would work for her. So, animal enthusiast. I could have left that there so I know which one it is. Animals. And I think she's going to get ambitious straight down from everybody else in the family. Like, her entire family, it seems to be... Most of them, everybody's ambitious. A couple people are... A few place, people are lazy. <laughs> Words. Ambitious and animal enthusiast. Or I could like her one kind of animal. Fire. F. Am ambitious. L M M M M A M. Oh, I did not go far. Is it seriously not showing on the list? I've had this for traits here and there. I've noticed today that some don't show on the list for some people. I do not see ambitious. Maybe it conflicts with something else she has. Lazy, probably. Yeah. It's gotta be a conflict between ambitious and lazy. Right. You can't be both. <laughs> you can be ambitious but be lazy about it. Come on now. <laughs> To make her an animal enthusiast or like maybe just like one kind of animal, like dogs. We haven't had dog lover in a while. So I might lose. <sighs> Lazy makes sense for her though. Mm. 
think she likes dogs. E, E, D, O, D, O, D, O, G's. D, O, G, G's. Okay, I still need one more then. And I can't be ambitious because she's lazy in her personality. What else? She likes the environment. I can do an environment trait. She does kind of give me... Like, Green Fiend vibes sort of deal. And deviates from the tree, but that's okay. We can have some deviations in there. Analytical sound, probably unappeasable, ambitious, heart lover, neat, motivating, materialistic, perfectionist. Head snub, salty, outgoing, sporty, ambitious, family oriented, serious, materialistic, neat. She feels like the oddball who probably likes. So she's probably a maker. <laughs> she's probably a maker. Possibly. She likes to make things. It's good for the environment. So is recycling, though. She's not very materialistic. She just doesn't read that way to me. Oh, come on. Okay. No, Maker's not on here for her. Probably because she's lazy. <laughs> Green Fiend? B, C, D, E, F, G. Green Fiend's there. Green Fiend is happiest living on a green street. They like to work making their environment more equal, eco-friendly. Which, she likes the environment, so that works. That works. Okay, there's her eight. Got to Put those on the tree. Art lover. Worldly. Dog. Lover. Serious. Ah, green fiend, kind, moody, lazy. <sighs> Idiocy, master educator. She make a good teacher. Okay, that's her. <laughs> Next! Alright. Teens need a grand total of six traits. So I only gotta come up with two. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, also to note, um, Desdemona and Hal are deaf. That's a secondary trait. But they are deaf... They are deaf. Um, it's not necessarily genetic deafness, but they are deaf. So they may marry deaf people, but or they may hear, marry hearing people. I don't know who they're going to marry yet. I have not decided for them. Oh, Desi, I still kind of see with Xander Roth. <laughs> so for, Des, or for Hal, though, I have Restless, Geek, Outgoing, Unpredictable. And I'll take a look at the wiki, even though he's a kid in the wiki. See, also, too, when we get to, like, the next round, there's going to be a lot less setup. I won't have to be grabbing ten traits for people. <laughs> or putting them on the family, or putting them all on the family tree, like I am right now. Because I kind of didn't, I didn't have a tree made for the caps yet, so. It's made now. <laughs> Or I didn't have one until recently. 
Hell, he technically actually has a broken Sims 2 face. <laughs> His facial structure completely changes when he ages up. Um, do, 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 to my dream world. Do, 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 do. So anyway, he's outgoing, which I have. Kind of restless. That's fair. He's not really grouchy or mean or neat or lazy or active. He's kind of middle of the road, except he's outgoing. <laughs> he's kind of middle of the road. Uh, I have slob here. And yeah, okay, I can see slob for him. So I'll leave it there for now. Slob, I can see that. He really likes traveling. He really likes school, sci-fi, and toys. So some of this, when he ages up to um, young adult, he'll also, I'll, I'll, I will also go back to the wiki and look at him and add stuff. So for now, he could do worldly. Like, again, there's a lot of worldly in the family. He really likes travel a lot. He also really likes sci-fi and toys. So he could be childish. Which kind of deviates a bit. Childish and worldly. He's already restless, but, you know. Child just lets him play with toys. <laughs> and he likes toys. Sci-fi and toys, but you're not child. I know, me too. <laughs> I know, but they can't play with toys unless they're childish. <laughs> they can't really play with toys unless they're childish. He also kind of likes food a fair bit. He's got a lot of likes. Food stands out. Food is a higher one. Travel's a high, high one. Travel's 100%. School's 100%. Toys is 9 out of 10. Sci-fi's 10 out of 10. But don't, I don't really have... There is an occult enthusiast trait, but it's part of Better Sims, so I don't have it in. <laughs> I've got Better Sims out for obvious reasons. <laughs> Like, I don't need all my sims to get secondary materialistic or lactose intolerant traits. <laughs> Love that. Love the mod, but... Mind you, I took it out because I was having problems, but the problems were something else. So, I could put... I'll put, I'll put it back in and see how it goes. I'll just take out the a couple of the modules or something. <sighs> yes, yes it is. I... I had, like, I grew out of it. I was really, like, really lactose intolerant in, like, my teens. But by the time I was in my 20s, it kind of went away. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Either it wasn't lactose intolerant or it was something else. <sighs> but, I mean, lactate helped, so it had to be something like that. Mm. All right, worldly... As is so much of the rest of the family is worldly and ambitious. Um, worldly. I am. Mm, I am leaning towards childish. Or I could go with. Like amusing or goofball or something. Not goofball, I've done that. But maybe like amusing. saw it a m a or not now i don't see it oh there it is o n a n a m words sims build comedy and friendship faster cuz they're funny they get a playful buff when being near um well, other people get a playful buff near him. I could see that. You drink lactate? Nice. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, I'm gonna go with amusing. Because Restless kind of is like, he's gotta have fun. 
and play and stuff and amusing. He like may he's just fun to be around. Like he's fun. <laughs> he's a fun boy. Alright. Add those traits to him. He's got serious and jokey sides too, with the actually unpredictable kind of covers that. Never mind. Childish it is. <laughs> Cause unpredictable has serious and jokey sides. Is what it is. So childish. C H I L D. Childish. Then he can play with toys. It'll help with his boredom. Stupid Texas doctor. And, oh, your stupid Texas art made you lactose intolerant? That's crazy. I'm almost afraid to ask how. Childish, worldly, unpre, D I C T A B L E, unpredictable. I'm change. I'll change these later. <laughs> for that, can be for now. You can be an admired icon. All right, updated. Ah, oh, Desi, 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 our lovely Desi girl. I have to take new placeholder photos. Oh, for Desi so far, I have open minded, nerdy, animal enthusiast, and bookworm. She is neat. So I can move that up. That's one of two, <laughs> right? Yeah, six, six, six. Alexander. Do, 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 do. I want to edit her. Um, Desdemona. Yeah, she's quite neat. She's fairly outgoing. Well, midway on the rest. She's mostly neat. So we'll move neat up. Neat. Um, she's got animal enthusiasts already. She loves animals. She loves school. Loves sci-fi. Loves culture. Not as big as in travel. She is into culture. So maybe an art related one. Yeah. So neat and so neat and something artsy. Oh, art lover. Right. I didn't give Art Lover to Hal yet. Maybe he doesn't like art. Maybe he's the one who does not like art. <laughs> art Lover and Neat. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's easy. Mm. And then take out the secondaries. There we go. Six for you. On to the Plum Tree app. Ah. Open-minded and an animal enthusiast. Enthusiast, nerdy, art lover, neat bookworm. Mm -hmm. I also have to an admire icon. And a sim beauty. She's good. We're flying. We're flying. Like I said, there's no children. No new children in this house. Four is it. <laughs> They've got four kids. And Ariel is very smart. Or she could be very smart. A little short-tempered. <laughs> Friendly. Four is a lot. I agree. So she is a child and she needs to have four traits. Um, she won't have much in the way of personality or interest probably on the on the wiki, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah, she 
has a personality and I guess a generated interest. She's a slob. She's only middle of the pack at going. She's active. Middle of the pack for serious slash playful. Middle of the pack for niceness. So I don't see the short tempered. I can see the friendly. I can see you're being very smart. So culture, paranormal, travel. Culture and travel, that puts me into the worldly territory. Can't do ambitious because she's a child. So, slob. She's a slob and worldly is what she's bringing down at this point. QLP, QRS, slob, 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 slobby, slob, slob. I think I took off the one, but. Oh, no, worldly can't be done for kids. Okay. So not worldly. Something with the arts. I think I have a couple artistic people in the family. On sort. Just looking. Trying to decide. Well, she's going to love art, so. Love's art will be enough for the art one. Can't do worldly yet. Can't do ambitious yet. Cover of uh, I Shot Cupid by Swan of Purple Kiss. So good. She's got an incredible voice. Um... She's kind of on the active side. I'm going to go with active because I haven't had too many active. Active is like, um, actives want a concert straight, so that works. She's a slob, but she's active. All right, we're going with those four for her for now. She's just a random genius in the family. Friendly, active, and a slob. No. Um, and sim. Okay, so the only thing to do for this house is pictures, new placeholders, plus actual photo of Miranda. Move Miranda to college mm. to the colleging mm -hmm. so we've already got gone real and albany as young adults photos taken i need miranda's young adult photo She may change her hair by the time she's an adult. <laughs> but this is her young adult pick. She, she's still a bit of a rebel. That's why, that's why it's off. There we go. Placeholder for this poor guy in the overalls with the... T with Tybalt's hair. <laughs> Desi. 
with her colorful hair that she probably won't keep. <laughs> Why is Ariel a, a baby again? Why is Ariel a baby again? What the f- She was a child when I went into- Was she not? She did not finish growing up yet, maybe? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I wonder if she hadn't finished her birthday. I didn't check. I didn't think the- I didn't think that through. It's okay. Nope, she reverted. <laughs> she reverted. I wonder if she wasn't done her uh, her birthday yet when I went in. Oops. And my lovely cap-colored house that I renovated for them. Although a, lot, a few houses are going to need renos now. Uh, now I gotta do her traits again, though. Shh. And I didn't write them down. FML. What did I have? Brilliant. I hadn't written hers down yet. Oh, no, I did. Never mind. Okay, they're there now. Whoo! I was about to be upset. <laughs> I gotta find them now, though. Brilliant. Friendly. Yeah, I'm in K-pop land over here, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Did you check out Idol's album today that dropped? I obviously did. <laughs> friendly, 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 friendly. Yes, on the art lover is weird. Active slob. Okay, we'll do active and slob. I find active for her. Possibly, yeah, active. Slob. Finish growing up. There we go. <laughs> Friendly. There it is. Okay, she's back. <laughs> Different hairstyle, but she's back. Now I will create a sim picture of her. Chinka. <laughs> And again, they'll get makeovers at young adult. No, no, I'm not gonna be the one to get hurt. All right, update photos. Ah, uh, Miranda's photo. And pictured as young adult. Pictured as a young adult. Crop it. She can be cropped. That's centered. Good enough, yes. A house photo placeholder. Disease upload her placeholder and Ariel's placeholder. I'm not gonna be. Ariel. <laughs> Boo.
Booyah! <laughs> We're getting there. We are getting there. Almost through the first five of a hundred years. <laughs> It'll get less complicated in a way later because family trees will have been built, like traits are in place, much easier to bring down traits through the family and then randomize a couple. It's just this first bit that's hardest. Okay, did she lose a trait? I'm gone, real. Did you lose a trait or did I not do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You lost a trait. How did that work? Okay. Perfectionist? Yes. Materialistic? Yes. Motivating? Neat. Art lover disappeared. <laughs> Technically, probably the most important of the traits. Art lover disappeared. If you want it, you can get it. If you want it. <laughs> Terrible song for minors to be singing, but a really good song. <laughs> of course, I don't know the Korean words very well. Like, please forgive me, my non -pron my terrible pronunciation. Two, four, six, eight. No, she's missing more than that. How'd that happen? Okay, she's missing two more traits. She's missing unappeasable. What else is she missing? Analyticals there, slob is there, and worldly. She's missing two traits. How did that happen? Worldly and unappeasable. Worldly. S T U unappeasable. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Miranda's disappeared too. I must have just going into went into cast slightly too soon. Uh, Hal's fine. Desmona's fine, right? Two, nope, they lost two each as well. Okay, I screwed something up because they lost traits. That was weird. Now I gotta fix them. <laughs> lost half of Miranda's traits. Okay, what do I need? Art lover. That's a pain. Art lover. Worldly's there. Dog lover. A, B, C, D, O, G. C, dog. Eat dog. Eat dog. Eat dog. 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 Dog lover. D, A, O. Dog lover. Uh, Sirius is there. Green Fiend is not. The FG Green. Uh, Moody's there. Lazy is missing. How did I manage to screw that up? That's annoying. A G H I J K L A Z. And then I gotta remove the extras. Two, four, six, eight. Good. Green can go. Good. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Ten, ten, eight. Six. Ah, restless, geek, outgoing, childish, and worldly. Childish and worldly. Desi. 
neat is missing and art lover right open-minded animal enthusiast nerdy bookworm yeah art lover and neat abc a a a a r t a r art lover okay l m n e a neat take off the extras take up the new okay nay should be good now i'm saving <laughs> i think it's when i went into cast there my um one of them must not have been fully grown up yet. Like, Ariel wasn't fully through the birthday process yet, and that's why it reverted the traits that I did, maybe. Either way, should be okay now. She's got Handy as an extra trait, too. No, we're not going to get to Strange Town today, my dear. <laughs> maybe work on it a bit after dinner tomorrow night. Um, Wednesday... I probably won't be able to stream Thursday's regular stream. So between Tuesday and Thursday, we should be I should be able to get Strange Town done in my after dinner hours worth of stream. So time is it. Yeah, it's like 930 now here on my end. I'm gonna leave the light on for the last half hour, but when I come back after dinner or after I put the cats, that light's not being gonna be on. <laughs> my head is not loving it at all so the next family to work on i think is going to be of course since we're doing veronaville the summer dreams <laughs> the summer dreams okay and i'll crop those photos later i mean <sighs> i won't be able to get done the summer dreams in a half hour i don't think maybe i can go 40 minutes i can go 30 to 40 more minutes if i can get them done that'd be great and then after if i get them done or very close to done i'm not going to come back after i play with the cats i think i think i'll work on a few things cat tax hi cat tax you want to come do cat tax hold on i can't see where the a little bit oh you're giving her to me She's giving her to me. Hi. Hi, Zookies. Hi, Zookies. Look at that big butt. <laughs> Did you want to snuggle me? She says, no. Where's mommy going? <laughs> she, out of my arms. She's leaving now. <laughs> Where's other mommy going? <laughs> Without me. <gasps> Yay, cat tax. Yeah, that was a small cat tax, but it was a cat tax. Clary's made it onto Cameron today. Buffy has not and i'm not sure she's sleeping somewhere yeah she's sleeping tomorrow or right now and then obviously you just saw the sookie's big butt <laughs> the sookie butt the sookie's butt yeah oh where's buffy oh we have a bird living at our front door like on the lights by the front door and she's stalking the bird and from my sister's window <gasps> of course stalking birdies okay let's work on let's see what it can get done with the summer dream family and their five years of advancement i think summer dream yeah we can bring them up to the 2009. That that way we got all of Veronaville done today in like a six hours worth of stream. If I can get them done-ish. They shouldn't be too, too hard to do. I say that. I'll live to regret that, I'm sure. <laughs> but if I can get them done before I feed the cats. Like the cats, my cats aren't very like playful with toys. Like wand toys and whatnot. They like to chase each other around, mainly. <laughs> Clary and uh, Suki were wrestling today. Which is good. <laughs> Considering. Alright, so... I believe Tatiana... I married them as like part of a pre-rounds. Yes, I didn't change his last name. That's fine for right now. 
but he is technically he becomes a summer dream. I could fix that and cast it in a bit. Cut off the summer dream family. I don't care about days lived. Uh, Puck. Puck, Puck. Puck's going to be the same age. Yeah, he's going to be the same age as Miranda. He's going to be 19. So he'll be 19. He'll be aging up to young adult. Uh, bottom summer dream, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he'll be 13. Uh, Oberon, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. And Tatiana, 46, 51. So they'll be adults. So we need to age up bottom to teen and puck to young adult. And then I'll do everybody's traits. And that'll be another family down in our progression. <laughs> First round of progression. Again, progression's going to go faster as we get into it. But like this first round, I'm also having to like do a lot of trade updates and stuff. So it's a little bit slower. <laughs> Hopefully I can start doing like a couple 10-year rounds <laughs> here and there. Because, yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, set age, young adult, you, uh, MC command center, sim command, set age, teen, good, age your butts up, and you are most definitely a knowledge sim, and I am going to put you as a doctor, he'd make a good doctor, I think. I think. <laughs> Yay, he actually graduated. <laughs> Come on, Bottom. And Bottom is a gorgeous sim, by the way. Teen. We'll drop her as a drama llama for now. When you do uh, Bottom up, like, look at that bone structure. She actually turns out, like, super pretty when you do her up. Super pretty. And she will get done up when she hits young adult. When she hits young adult, she'll she'll get she'll get done up because I need her picture as a young adult for the tree. Alright. So traits. Then I'm gonna move Puck and Miranda both into the college household. Mm. And then next session coming up will be Strange Town. And then we'll be done our first round. Our hardest. It's the hardest round, I think. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping it's just the hardest round. <laughs> okay. Uh haven't been here. I haven't been here. Oh, that's okay. Power Star, no worries. You're here when you're here. It it is. You know, some of these things are out of our control. I don't expect everybody to show up all the time for my streams. Like, it's nice to have you regulars, of course, but it's all good. It's all good. I didn't even think about promotions for, like, adults and stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> this round, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, Because when they're dead, they won't have jobs. <laughs> Blue eyes. Alrighty. Oberon, what do we got going on with you? Anything I can finagle. So he's got one, two, seven out of ten traits of those traits, um, cast traits. Uh, da, da, da. Did I get a young adult picture of him? No. Okay. I have to take a... I have to get pictures of them as young adults. All right. So. Be here. Let's see here. So I've got him as kind of materialistic, calm, lazy, sociable, creative, worldly, and soft. Again, there's a lot of worldly sims right now. That's okay. It'll balance out over time. 
It's just the way that Sims 2 made their Sims. <laughs> and they aren't having any more kids. They are both infertile. Um... And I don't... I mean, they can absolutely adopt. I mean, they usually do in Sims 2. People, I think, usually make them adopt in Sims 2. I'm not that pressed right now for that. <laughs> Considering it, though, of course. Um, personality. He is quite outgoing. I've got sociable. Good. He's pretty nice. I've got soft and calm, which could make him nice. He is very lazy. Got that. I've given him creative for being um, in the, uh, the, the like the entertainment career. Materialistic, which comes from his love of money. <laughs> he loves money. He loves school. He does not like the environment. <laughs> Like, at all. Um, yeah, he likes travel. Worldly. Doesn't have a lot that he likes that I don't already have for him. Maybe I could do, even though he's already creative, pop on perfect pitch. Needs three traits. Oof. What was that noise? <laughs> Something was coming in there. Um, excitable, timid, and appeasable, humble. Da -da. It's very hard. Hmm, what are good fairy traits? Good traits for a fae. And for him, materialistic, calm, lazy, sociable, creative, worldly, soft. Um... He has a knowledge, Sim. I'm gathering he's pretty smart. In a way. Being Fae. I can also see him kind of being a homebody because he's lazy. So maybe homebody, because I've been given that to many people. Homebody. He doesn't care about the environment. <laughs> homebody. Clever. Berries tend to be clever. Homebody clever. And <laughs> homebody clever. Homebody clever. Could be charming. Homebody clever, charming, homebody clever. Homebody clever and I don't mean to me to fuck with. <sighs> Getting distracted by the music. <laughs> Homebody clever. I think charming. He seems like a charmer. You know, fairy charmer. Yeah, homebody clever charmer is a good one sad to him. That's uh, a fairy mod making that noise. Homebody. 
C D E F Homebody Homebody Clever Ch Ch Charming C H oh, I went right past it. Maybe Homebody, yeah. Charming. There we go. He's sociable, but he likes to be sociable, you know, at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna update the Plum Tree app with that. World Lee. World Lee. Creative, clever, charming, calm, homebody, lazy. Sociable. A, B, L, E. Soft and materialistic. Materialistic, right? Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Perfect. Ten. Flower power makes no sense. What is that doing there? Um, this is a knowledge sim. Let's do nerd brain. Okay, cool. All right, there's his traits done. Uh, Tatiana. So for Tatiana, I have 7 out of 10. I'll have to check. I might have, yeah, loves outdoors. Can move up. Um, gentle, restless, child of nature, slob, music lover, friendly, lazy. Does that sound good to me is the question. Review her personality on the wiki. Slob, yes. Barely outgoing. Friendly, yes. Lazy, yes. Uh, more on the playful side than serious, so that's covered by restless. Um, and nice, gentle, perfect. Also covers with friendly. <laughs> She's very nice. Um, she is pretty into the environment. She's really into fashion and culture. We don't really have a fashion... A fashion like thing. <laughs> but I think uh, we'll keep the loves outdoors. What else is down here? Smash. Let's do the last dance. Just loves outdoors. Okay. Which is fine. Loves outdoors. She's really into entertainment. So maybe she's a film, a film buff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Loves outdoors, film buff, and loves outdoors, film buffs, and one more it would be. She's pretty into food. I mean, that makes just yet another foodie in the save. We need more traits that have to do with food. <laughs> and more traits that have to do with travel. <laughs> yeah. And ambition. <laughs> so, loves outdoors. Oh my gosh. Brain. Come on, brain. Loves outdoors. Film buff. Loves outdoors. Film buff. Foodie. Love foodie. Uh, film buff should be up here. F E. I'll move it down. Or movie buff. Is it movie buff? L M M O. Movie buff. And a bit of a. Oh, loves outdoors to move up from her other 
J J K L O. There we go. And I just need to take Love's outdoors off of here. Okay, she's done. Just gotta transfer into the app. <sighs> yeah. Restless music lover foodie loves outdoors friendly movie buff child of nature slob lazy gentle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten and ten. Good. Update. Next. Puck needs eight traits. I see four or five of eight here off the top. Bookworm can move up. Childish can move up. Worm childish. So he's childish as well, but that's okay. That should fit. I'm pretty sure it does. Puck. Uh -huh. So Puck is quite shy. So maybe, yeah, I've got slow to warm up. It's quite neat. I have neat. Uh, middle of the road on active. Very serious. I've got that. Very nice. So maybe a trait to do with niceness. Maybe. Maybe not gentle. He is adopted. Maybe I'll go kind. Kind. Yeah, kind. Kind bookworm and childish to move up. Okay. It's kind. A, B, 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 bookworm. A, B, bookworm. B C H childish and kind H I J K I J Oh there it is. And kind. Alright, take off these extras. There we go. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, make sure they are on the things yeah because the stuff i have on here is uh or on the plum tree app is from when we were or when i played them last <laughs> i hadn't wiped it yet rti artisan neat because i i am streaming a lot more of the process than i had initially planned <laughs> Like, a lot. Like, all of it compared to what I had initially planned to do. But I'm enjoying the input, and I'm enjoying you guys seeing what I'm doing. So, to warm up. And so, you can, so you're seeing my thought process. Serious worldly. Okay. Top surgeon. All right. And bottom, some a dream. Bottom, she needs six. Six, 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 six. Yeah, total of six. Cool. She needs six. She currently has three plus nothing. <laughs> oh, she's serious. Is she serious? Really? I didn't think she was serious. Maybe that's wrong. Bottom. I know she's supposed to be a bit mischievous, I thought. Well, that adopted child. Bob enjoys getting attention, and her older brother Puck is irritated by her. A little bit bratty. Because <laughs> she's showered with attention. So she's got main character syndrome. Strong interest in crime, food, entertainment, and culture. Not interested in animals or health. So, I don't think she's serious. I think she's mischievous. She's a mischievous 
Barry. So... She's a bit of a slob. Mostly kind of a slob. That's debatable. She's fairly outgoing. She's quite active. Excitable kind of works with that. It's an alternate version of active. Um, she's a little on the serious side. But yeah, I see her more as mischievous. Personally. So she likes... So I am definitely... I'm going to do mischievous. H-O-J-K. Miss. Um, up, 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 up. Mischievous. Kind of like Lucy in that respect. <laughs> uh, mischievous. But not overly nice about it like Lucy is. Still a little on the serious side, but not very. Not extremely, I should say. I can love it better, baby. She likes food. So maybe I'll do foodie. Oh, so I have foodie as a secondary, so that can move up. Foodie. She's really into entertainment and toys. And food. So she... Entertainment. Maybe she likes music. Music lover. Music lover and foodie. Yes, I'm feeling that for her today. <laughs> uh, C D E F F F foodie. And J -J K L. <laughs> Music. M-U. M-U. That's how you spell music. M-U. <laughs> music lover. I mean, she's growing up kind of around music in that household anyway. Oh, I had to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. How are we doing on time? Oh, we are good. We are good on time. Yay. Ah, uh, da, da Friendly... Slob, music, lover, foodie, miss, C H I E V O E mischievous, and C I T A B L E excitable. Drum llama. I feel accomplished. <laughs> so the only thing to do is to move Puck and Miranda out actually i need pictures sorry i need pictures make sure nobody's still growing up oh she's transforming into a fairy right she has no wings for now she can have them later she can have her wings later <laughs> nobody's growing up or anything good all right i'm saving and then i'm good then i'll do the pictures just in case I lose all the traits again. Uh, uh. Uh. Okay. Pictures. I need Oberon and Tatiana's young adult photos. I need Puck's young adult photo. And I need a placeholder for bottom. Become young once again. Boop. She needs eyelashes. Mm. I did. I did put in the uh, other. Um, what is it? Ch -ch -ch. Do bright red lashes like her hair? Yes, I think so. Come on, close. Close details. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did that give her eyelashes back? No. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> give us all that. Picture. One for luck. 
Maybe one more for extra luck. <laughs> Alright, back to old, back to an adult you go. she lose her ears? She did. Did she lose her ears? She did lose her ears when she aged to adult. What the heck? Is my ear unlocker not working? Okay, no ear unlocker right now. Gotcha. Okay, I'll have to look at that and fix that. No big. I gotta fix her ears. <laughs> Same with Oberon's. I'm gonna have to fix all their pixie ears. Whatever, I need a young adult photo of you too. Do you have your eyelashes? You do have your eyelashes. How kind of you. There we go. Young once again. He's got the multicolor eyelashes. I love it. Hitcher. Hitcher. All right, get old. I got his ears as a young adult aren't working either. Crap. You're crashing? No worries, Josie. Point your back head to become young once again. Same. Same. Yeah, no worries, Josie. I probably, I might not be back after I play with the cats anyway. So, yes, we'll see you tomorrow for the regular stream. A uh, placeholder for this young lady. I said, I have to look at my ear unlocker and see what happened. She'll get a makeover later. All right. Why? So, yeah, I'll have to retake their photos, maybe. Because ears, the ear unlocker is not working. Or I don't have it right now because I wasn't sure it was updated. One or the other. So I will look at that after I feed the cats and I will take, I'll retake the pictures after that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, but we will move. We will move these last two into the, that, the, uh, the university household will be full. We'll have to make a second one for the next group of Sims who go to school. <laughs> Come on. Ba 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 right, Chester. Right, Chester. These guys two, four, six. Yeah, I got room for Puck and Miranda. Puck. Come on, there it goes. Bray Chester and Miranda going to school there. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I gotta fix Puck's ears and get new photos. It is what it is. I'll get photos that. All right, guys. I think that's it. Uh, we did all of Veronaville in this session or these two sessions. Yay me, six hours <laughs> to do Veronaville to get it where I want it to be. So that's fun. <laughs> so that's a fun time. Um, yeah. And I'm back tomorrow with our regular Sims 4 program, the Brooke Descendants rotational. And after that, we'll be more work on the save file. We'll be doing um, the Strange Town. Working on strange, advancing Strange Town, which hopefully won't take that long, but you know, between Tuesday and Thursday, we can get her done. <laughs> between Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday, that we can get that done. It's all good. Yes, all good. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We've done good today. Yay, us. All right. I'm off. Probably. Nobody to like. To send you over to that's on right now. Since I'm actually done for right now. 
Ah, uh, Zephrine's on. All right, I'm gonna send you guys over to Zephrine. Uh, raid. Let's see. So it's uh, C E. Yeah, because it doesn't always take everybody. Zephrine. Okay, thanks so much for joining and helping out with the builds. I think she's actually playing. Oh, she's playing Legends of Zelda. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going to Zephyrine. We're on raiding. Um, yeah, I got nobody. Okay, I'm just signing off. You guys can find your own place to go then. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.